In this next demonstration, we will look at all of the AI functions or the term we call AI to the UI inside Avanti. The first thing we will look at is our AI administrator. This is a module built directly into the Courses Pro product. And what I will show you here is that we've deployed two models to the system already. We've trained the data and these two models will indicate if there's a chance a purchase order will be late, as well as if it is late, by how many days will it be late? The AI administrator allows you to do various different training. You can do advanced options in setting up the training options, as well as the various different toolkit options. I've predefined two models, and now we will simply see how they work. The first way, let's go into one of the workspaces that we created earlier. And here, I'm going to add or design my workspace to include two new AI tiles. So instead of adding a program tile or a business insight tile, what we're going to do is add in two hard-coded artificial intelligence tiles. So this one is going to be called PO days late, and it will indicate how many days a purchase order will be late. We're going to hard-code the purchase order line number as well as the purchase order in there. We'll set that to be orange with a background color of white. For the second AI tile, we will add in a new tile, the percentage chance an order will be late. So PO percentage late. And again, we'll use the exact same order number and I'll simply click add the tile. Now, when I save this particular layout, you will notice there's a brain on each of these AI tiles. And this is simply telling us that order 313, there's a 70% chance it's going to be 7.18 days late. Now, in this particular demonstration, you would have seen I hard-coded the purchase order numbers. Let's go ahead and look of how we can include that particular AI model in a grid that has multiple lines to it. So I'm going to go to the purchase order query application. And because this is part of a purchase order model, we can click on add columns and you will see they will show the number of days or the percentage chance this particular order or line will be late. So let's just go ahead and add that particular column. We just need to go out, go back into the purchase order query application and now I'm simply going to put in order number 543, select that particular order. The general information will be displayed, but what you will now see is that this particular stock codes, there's a 67% chance that this particular purchase order line will be late. This is using our prediction model, our prediction engine inside in the background to produce this information.